Monkey! He's gonna go for it this time, bud, okay? We're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it, and we're not gonna worry about what it is we're trying to say. We're just gonna say it, okay? All right, can you, are you with me? Stream of consciousness, yeah? Hi, everybody. Hi, can you say hi? Hi, everybody. Hello, hi. Uh, two in one week, right? Or even two in two days, it's amazing. Um, I decided to come to you today because in addition to my, my usual, uh, you know, self-aggrandizing uh, behaviors and, and thoughts and actions. I thought I would throw in a spicy dash of, uh, you know, almost 40-year-old dad who is just looking to make the world better for his son. And and it's this. You know, I, I know you're probably like me. You went to a nice state school, got yourself a liberal arts education of some sort, and uh, feel that, you, that you're entitled to listen to NPR and use words like curmudgeonly in a sentence on on a regular occasion. And if you are like that, and if you're like me, uh, you probably have got certain pet peeves about things that people do that just drive you crazy. And and I've got one that's just been that's been eating on me, and I thought that I just had to share because I, I want this to end. I really do. Um, about a month ago, uh, a friend of mine in, in Oklahoma hooked me up with uh, a a kid she knows he was starting college at OU this year for the uh, he's a freshman so he's only been there a few weeks now and he's an aspiring film director and since you know I've been a, a hobbyist filmmaker for almost all of my life and in, in one degree or another and have spent a lot of time doing television commercials and stuff like that she thought it might be nice if we if we uh, connected and he could ask questions and I could give advice and kind of help him figure it out figure out what it is that he wanted to do. And so, um, you know, and I, of course I said, sure, because I always like to, I always like to help out students. Um, you know, it's just kind of a, it's kind of, it's kind of that, you know, latent, you know, daddy didn't love me type of thing. And in, in so far, not, not daddy, but in so far as like when I was in college and trying to find my way and do the things that I wanted to do, there was never, never anybody really there to, to mentor me. You know, to do a mentorship. So uh, I, I like to help students out where I can. It's uh, I think it's important. Anyway, uh, so I said yes, and uh, she made the introductions via Facebook, and so we became Facebook friends. And he would send me messages, and I would write back, and and would talk, and, and so we kind of talked about things, and you know, and 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 he said, you know, thanks for the advice, and has been on his way, and it's been and it's been wonderful, and it was great. He was a great kid, uh, you know, seems seems to be seems to be a very a very bright kid with a bright future, et cetera, et cetera. But the thing is, is the, is the the messages that he sent to me, the writing in these messages were just abs. It was absolutely atrocious. It was just terrible writing, you know. It was all lowercase and. A lot, of, a lot of the words were abbreviated, like, you know, as if he was sending me a text message, you know, like three-letter words, and, and, and just, and it was just, it was just bad. And and the thing is, is, is that so much of the world is like that. Now, people have forgotten how to freaking write, and it drives me crazy. Now, you know, granted, it was Facebook. He was sending me something across Facebook, and... And it was kind of, it was a, you know, it's a casual relationship type of thing. It's not like I'm his teacher or his boss or anything like that. But at the same time, you know, I, I am almost 40 years old, quite the adult, and could very easily be his teacher or his, uh, or his boss or anything like that. And someday could be his boss. And as such, uh, you know, that, that, that writing's got to go, dude. You're not impressing me. And, and so I guess the thing that's really that's really driven me crazy over the past few days, especially, is uh, I, I found a site called lanebook.com, and uh, it's got a lot of just, you know, I mean, it's the, the, the worst, worst examples of, of writing and, and things that people say and things that people do on Facebook, and it's yeah, uh, amusing at first. I, I, I was amused by it at first. I was like, you know, ha, look, you know, look at these people, and oh, oh, laughing at people's expenses. It's so rich and lovely. But, 
the more I got to thinking about it, the more just enraged I became because, you know, this is the way most people are and this is the way that most people write and most people think. And, it just, and it's just sad and it's irritating because people don't even take the time to write proper English sentences anymore. Like it, that just freaking just drives me insane. And, you know, uh, get off my lawn, blah, 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 right? But... I mean, seriously, I, uh, learn to write, write properly, write sentences, capitalize, use commas. Okay, enough said, enough said, right? Come here. I want you, here, here we go, we're going we're gonna to play. Ah! Put your right arm up, or even your left arm, or your right arm with the monkey, and say, I promise that I'm going to learn how to write properly when I get older. Monkey butt. So when I was a kid, um, my aunt always got me a subscription to Rolling Stone magazine. I had a subscription to Rolling Stone for years and years and years. And I mean, and I would, I would keep them all. I, I, I don't know. What, what is that about collecting magazines? I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I know some people do it. I know, you know, you may have a nice dusty box of something in, in your basement or attic. I, I don't know. But for some reason, I would keep all these Rolling Stone magazines. Absolutely irrelevant to the rest of this story. Anyway, as I was reading these Rolling Stone magazines, uh, I would uh, get really, really weirded out when I would read about my favorite uh, rock stars that had children. And, you know, just thinking about the fact that they that they had families of their own was just just very strange and and unsettling to me. And I don't know, I just didn't like it. And so every time, every time, I don't know why it is, but when you know, I mean, we're talking, I'm a seventh grader, you know, something like that. And if if I read about somebody having a kid, I just, I don't know, it just it just kind of run the run the, it just run the appeal of of those people for me. I, I know, I know, but the weird thing is, is now. When I when I read about stars, actors, rock stars, etc., having children, having families of their own, it's always encouraging to me now because I figure, you know, well, God, if they can, if they can be that busy and do all those things and work as hard as they do and still have a family, then my God, I can do it too. I can, you know, have my own C-list internet celebrity and, and and succeed. And then of course there's just the there's just the Britney Spears of the world and. You know, no matter no matter how badly I do or, or whatever I say or any screw ups that I make, I could never be as bad as that.